Now, 7 Weather with meteorologist Julie Durda. On this Wednesday morning, we are waking up to mostly clear skies. We had plenty of low-level moisture in place. You're going to feel the humidity as you walk out the door and very calm winds. All of those ingredients coming together, causing us to see a dense fog advisory. Something we're used to at this time of year here in South Florida. Now, the dense fog advisory is affecting areas just west of I-95 as well as west of US-1, and this will be going on until 10 o'clock this morning. The National Weather Service stated that visibility is limited to less than a quarter of a mile, especially throughout Alligator Alley, throughout portions of 75, as well as the Florida Turnpike. So please be very careful out there. Satellite picking up clear skies in Miami-Dade, Broward, and the Keys. Some thick cloud cover, though, located over Lake Okeechobee. That's all associated with that very weak frontal boundary that will fizzle out later on today. We are dry from Lake Okeechobee all the way down to Key West. It's a nice little break from all the rain that we've been seeing, but boy, did we need it. And we do have another round of rain in the forecast once we get into tomorrow and into Friday. So enjoy today. We have temperatures, though, well above average. It's feeling like summer out there with 77 degrees in Pompano Beach, 75 in Fort Lauderdale, 74 in Pembroke Pines. With a southerly wind flow bringing us the heat and the humidity from the tropics, wind speeds anywhere between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Right now, 76 in Miami, 77 in Miccosukee, 74 in Homestead, with a relative humidity of 88%. And in the Keys, 77 degrees in Key West, as well as Marathon, with a south wind anywhere between 9 and 12 miles per hour. So today we'll have high pressure rebuild over our area, and that will provide for that easterly onshore breeze. This is all occurring ahead of another front that's moving into the southeast, bringing some heavy rain, very gusty winds throughout portions of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana. Now, this system will continue to push towards the south. Today, we will stay hot with our winds moving in from the south. We will see our temperatures in the upper 80s with that possibility of some inland storms. Here comes the heat, South Florida. As this frontal boundary approaches our area tomorrow, we'll see highs in the lower 90s. We could be flirting with record highs, and we will see a better chance of storms going into Thursday night and Friday morning. Here's your marine forecast. There's a threat of rip currents if you're headed to the beaches. Doing any boating, Miami-Dade and Broward, the bay will be at a light chop. For you in the lower keys, no advisories. Near shore waters at a moderate chop. Highs today in the upper 80s. Still a chance of a shower in the afternoon. Lows will be in the upper 60s and then lower 70s for the coast. Here's your 7 on 7. Take a look at it. Better chance of thunderstorms by Thursday night and into Friday. Once this front clears, drier weather will be in place for the weekend. Have a great Wednesday.